Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today I'm going to be reviewing this automatic fill chicken waterer from Riverbend Resources. And you can see that bottom part is the product itself. You have to provide your own 5 gallon bucket. Um, it's going through its fill and clean cycle right now, which is pretty cool. I'll get more into that near the end of the video, but I'll show you how the whole thing goes together and the two options you can use, whether you want to use this auto option or not. So let's get started. This is what comes in the box. Again, you have to provide your own bucket. But inside are the PEX pieces you need if you're going to use the autofill option. This part's removable. And then once you snap it on the bucket, um, there's instructions on the bottom too. So even if you take this part off, you still have your instructions that okay, stay with you. So we're going to start with the first of the two options, which is the manual fill. I've got this bucket filled about halfway full right now. I'm not going to fill it up all the way, but it's my first time doing this, so you'll get my initial reaction in using it. Hopefully the cops don't come and arrest me for such a great demonstration. But uh, I think we got to watch where this lid goes, so the handle, when it comes up, we can lift it if we want to carry and transport. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to use this uh, milk carton that we're sitting on. I think we're snapped in all the way now, but this does clear, so if you wanted to move it, you could pick up the handle and take it wherever you need if your filling station isn't close to where your chicken coop is. So right now the water's in here. Hopefully when I flip this I'm not going to get wet. And here we go. Trough is filling up nicely. I don't have it exactly level on the left side. Um, so if I were to level this out, I had a little bit of leakage there but now it's settled. It appears to look be working just fine. For the autofill option, we're going to use the supplied PEX parts to do one thing here to modify the assembly of the base. Um, first, we're just going to connect the two pieces together, like so. Then we're going to put them in the bottom of the base down here at the part here that kind of is like in the middle of the trough. So let me do that real quick. Hopefully the camera can catch most of this, like so. And then the other thing we need to do is we need to remove this port and we will put our garden hose in there. So let me go off camera and finish that. I'll show you when I'm done. So now we have our autofill connected and we're ready to attach the bucket. And you can see there's no water in here right now. But that will soon change. Hopefully. Push that down until we snap it in. I don't know if we're snapped in all the way. There we go, I think. Turn on the water. Let's see how we fill. So I have my hose on now and we're filling and per the instructions it says to continue filling until the bubbles stop. So I'll watch this for a little bit and let you know about how long it takes for this bucket to fill up. The bubbles have stopped and I've turned off my water. You can see I just left the hose connected. Actually you can't see it's not in shot right now but you have to leave the hose either connected to your faucet or leave the end of the hose, the other end, the fill end, I guess, uh, higher than the bucket. Otherwise, all the water would come out back th through that way. Um, so it is just for auto filling. But the other advantage um, in the minute and a half that it took, it's, it's almost kind of like a, a whirlpool of sorts throughout the entire trough. So the entire trough is like bubbling and flowing. And it's a self-cleaning type of feature that will help keep the trough nice and tidy without uh, having to worry about doing it yourself of course eventually you have to but a lot less than you would to need to otherwise so in summary i'd say this is a pretty cool water i would recommend it and give it a thumbs up i have a link to the description below if you're interested in buying it off amazon or just go to riverbendresources.com this is john from john's diy playground have a great day